Hey y'all, I'm Krista from Houston, Texas, and today we're going to be installing a hitch on the Toyota Corolla. So let's go ahead and get right into this easy hitch, guys, okay? You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. All right, guys, so as you can see right out of the box, this is going to be our Toyota Corolla hitch. It is a round tube design. It does come standard with these lovely spaces for your, for your chains. It also comes with these pre-existing holes. And these four holes are going to bolt into the pre-existing weld nuts on our frame. So let's jump right into it. As you can see, we're under the car now. We're at the driver's side frame rail. So this is where we're going to be installing our bolts into the pre-existing weld nuts. They're going to be right here. One and two. All right, and now we're on the opposite side of the vehicle, which is going to be the passenger side. And right here located right above the muffler, the tailpipe right here, are going to be our other two existing weld nuts, number one and number two. Okay guys, so now it's time for us to get our hitch into place. We are going to be using the U-Haul jack stand. If you do not have one of these, you're going to need an extra set of hands as this can get quite heavy, okay? So let's go ahead and get it into place real quick. And then we're going to use this to lower it. Okay guys, so now that we have the hitch in place, we are gonna go ahead and install our provided hardware. We have our bolt here and our conical tooth washer. All right, so there's gonna be like this. You're gonna make sure your teeth are towards the frame, okay? okay. Now we're just gonna hand tight these down and we're gonna go over to the passenger side and repeat the exact same process. I was running into a little bit of a trouble trying to get this last bolt in here in the rear space. So it looks like um, it's trying to go in at an angle, but don't worry guys, we have a solution for you. It could have been the hitch was bent or maybe the car was in a fender bender, but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take our pry bar as well as our drill and we're going to insert the pointed end of our pry bar into the hitch and into the weld nut. And we're just gonna push a little bit to the left hand side and then we're gonna tighten it down. And what this is gonna do is once we tighten this bolt down, it's gonna ensure that the hitch is gonna to go to the proper size so we can get the, the bolt in correctly. All right, guys. So let's give this a try now. And there you have it, it goes right in. and we're gonna hand tighten these down just like we did the driver's side. All right guys, so now that we have everything in place, we're gonna be torquing them down to our manufacturer specifications. We're gonna be using the 19 millimeter socket with a five inch extension, okay? All right, now onto the driver's side. We're gonna repeat the exact same process over here. Okay guys, now that we have our hitch fully installed and torqued down, we're gonna get it down to level ground and get you some important measurements. Yes. From the ground to the top of the receiver hitch is gonna be 11 inches. This is important because it's gonna determine what type of rise or drop you're gonna need. And if you wanna take a look right here, from the hole to right here at the bumper edge, it's gonna be three and a half inches. And this is gonna help you determine what measurements you're gonna need for anything with a vertical accessory. Hey guys, well that concludes our video today. Thank you for watching. Be safe, have fun, enjoy the outdoors, and we look forward to doing the next video with you guys. To learn more about the product seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.